Hey guys. All right, well, I wanted to go over what the changes I've done to the MMP. I took it down to the range, made sure it worked, it was working fine. Shot a few rounds, a couple boxes through it, seemed to be doing fine. So I went ahead and I stippled it. The stippling job was uh, fairly easy to do. I've, I've, Guys, listen, on my spare time, I stipple everything. I mean, I practice stippling constantly. I'm always trying different patterns. I've been looking at some stip different types of soldering iron tips, some wood burning tips. I mean, I've been looking at... I've been actually thinking of doing it, trying to see if I can make money doing it. Yeah, I see it, but the problem is there's a lot of people doing it now. So it's, I've been doing it forever, and then I never thought to try to make money doing it, and now everybody's fucking making money doing it, and I'm kind of like, uh, shit. But a lot of people have been doing it for a long time, and they just, it, there's a market out for it now, so they're all taking advantage of it. I've got, you know what it is, though? It's, I'm, I'm extremely busy, so it's like I'm kind of like I never really wanted to do it to make money because I'm just I'm so busy I would be sitting there like I would have to dedicate actual time to it and I don't know if I have that time you know all right well as you can see I stippled it did all the way back I did a little backbone going along the back here and then it comes around pretty dimensional and then goes I mean I left this area I actually smoothed this area out a little bit I did a little on the front run here that's right where my finger goes and then of course basically like that so, um, I didn't do anything here just because I don't want to chafe the hell out of this finger more than this finger. these fingers have been chafed from stippled grips. So, I also, what you'll see here is I also took out my magazine disconnect. Guys, that is real simple to do. If you have one of these firearms with the magazine disconnect, as you can see, I was able to take it apart now by just pulling the trigger. What this bar does is this bar sits in here, and this bar keeps that moved over like this exactly what that bar does okay now when you pull the trigger because that bar is moved over like that it doesn't engage the sear which is which as you can see is going to move up and down right there it should be flashing the camera a little bit or something like that so that bar is gone and I took the factory spring I expanded it it's a spring that kind of goes like uh how am I going to do this uh Oh shit, goes like this, Go, goes like this, one end goes that, one end has an end point in that way, one end has a point in that way, uh, actually here, just like this, okay, here we go, just like that, and I I pulled it apart a little bit, that's it, to make take up the void that this piece was formerly taking up, so now, without the magazine in, it will still fire. Now, if I was a police officer or this was my duty gun, I'd probably keep the magazine disconnector in just because that would give me the ability to safely disarm my gun by just dropping a magazine and hoping the suspect doesn't see the magazine or pick up the magazine, dropping the magazine and keeping him from shooting me. But if he ever got a hold of my gun. Um, but, I mean, I, I like it. I think it's... Uh, Great idea. As you hear, you'll hear right now, there's no magazine in it. This did have this, this in it. Listen for it. Boom, headshot. Listen to that reset, too. The reset seems to have gotten better. It still has that. Where is it at? Still has that grainy style trigger, but I'm going to be taking that. I think I am going to go with the Apex. I'm going to go with the Apex Spring Kit. I'm not going to go so much with the Apex, uh, the full kit, the 164. I'm going to go with like the $89 one or whatever it is, because I do want to keep the factory trigger, the actual trigger, so I don't want to change that. But this puppy is done now. Um, as you can see, I've got it stippled. I like it. I think it came out good. We'll see. I went with the small... I went with a small tip, um, sm small tip for soldering. You guys know what this is. This is my wood burning kit. I've, I've got a video on that that actually is doing quite well. Um, but it's a small tip. That's what I went with. I like the feel of it. One thing about these backstrap guys is they're almost like a rubber plastic. So they melt like nobody's business. As soon as that soldering iron hits it, it's like it just melts. And you also got to make sure you do not touch it while you're working it. Because everything you just uh, stippled will just basically smear. 
so you got to let it cool off and everything like that but put the background in it try to keep it as straight as possible which i think i did and uh i, I like it guys i like it um i really don't like the placement of this but guess what i have to like the placement of it because that's where my finger naturally rests so um i like it guys i mean it is what it is all right guys thanks for watching that's uh the mp is now um got its stipple job and it has the disconnector disconnected thanks <laughs>